And happy Wednesday, folks. Happy Wednesday, June 16th, 2021. And welcome back to another episode of Quarters Without Borders. I'm your host, my name is Kyle, and we are playing today for a better tomorrow. Whew. Midpoint of the week, folks. Midpoint of the weeks. It is a wonderful Wednesday, another sunny and warm day here in central Ohio. I'm happy with that. It's not going to be wet. It's not going to be rainy. Whether you are just starting your day, you're in the midst of it, or you're wrapping it up, sending you the most positive of vibes. Make the most of the time you have left. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We've got an hour and a half coming at you today of Horizon Zero Dawn action, playing until about 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Folks, thanks again for the the, the patience today and getting our stream up and running. It has been a very, very productive morning so far. Um, a lot of stuff happening, wheels turning, gears spinning. But as a result, it made it kind of tough to squeeze in a nice um, little breakfast. So I'm um, just pushing the stream back 30 minutes, starting a little bit later at 11.30 today. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. We're still in that lunchtime window, and that's really what we do here. Hopefully, whether you're out there relaxing, enjoying some vacation or hard at work. Um, you can take a little break from reality with us, with Quarters Without Borders. Enjoy a little lunch and, uh, well, help us support a good cause. Lady Dragana, happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. Hope your work week is going well so far. Did, uh, did y'all have trivia last night? Now, Folks, before we dive into the action, of course, I'll take care of a little housekeeping like we do every day when we get started. So if you are joining us for the very first time, let me welcome you to our little corner of the internet where we play video games and raise money for charity. Right now we're playing our way through Horizon Zero Dawn, the complete edition. We're playing it on the hardest available difficulty, which in this case is ultra hard, and we have the crosshairs disabled. We're trying to make it as challenging on ourselves as possible. And the reason being is that every time we die, fail, or retry, we are donating 25 cents, an additional quarter, to charity. And the charity for this game, as you can see in the bottom left of your screen, is the Water Project. Now we've raised a grand total of $79.50, and all of that money will be going to the Water Project at the conclusion of our playthrough. The Water Project is a 501c3 charitable organization that's focused on helping provide sustainable water projects to communities in sub-Saharan Africa, communities that suffer needlessly from a lack of access to clean water and proper sanitation. They accomplish this goal primarily by providing the support, the financing, and the resources necessary to get these projects up and running. They're a really cool organization, and like most of the groups that we support here at the channel, um, I'm happy to be um, putting my dollar out there, so to speak, um, and spending my time with you folks in order for us to, to, to do so, to hopefully make the world a little bit of a better place, even if it's just 25 cents at a time. If you'd like to learn more about the Water Project or donate to them directly, there is a button below the stream. Click that, it'll take you down. Uh, I should say the Water Project right below the screen, and it'll take you to their website where you can do all the things. Ah, the team has been struggling. Well, you're already league champions, and it's not possible for you to lose that. So, you can ride on your laurels for a while, I imagine. <laughs> it's ebbs and flows, ebbs and flows. Much like that heartbeat monitor right there. All right, life comes at your highs, comes at your lows, and you ride in the midpoints in between. And it's understanding that and being okay. When the highs come, that's fantastic. When the lows come, it's just as fantastic. So, the exciting thing about being on the uh, the the losing end of the stick, so to speak, is that success is right around the corner. All right, the heart rate is a little high today. We're sitting in the high 80s, mid 90s, which is quite interesting. Uh, perhaps that lends itself to how productive it's been this morning. It's been very busy, very active. Um, got a workout in this morning, some mobility stretching, so um, maybe that has to, to, to tie into the elevated heart rate. We'll see. If we stay out of the triple digits, I'll be happy. Shh, 
Nobody has to know that, Dragana. I say you all get your own. Go to, like, I don't know, Trophies Plus or something, right? And buy yourself a League trophy. And then just have an unofficial League that you host, you put together. So if a team beats you one year, then or one week, you give them the trophy, they bring it back. Right? If they're not going to officially keep the League going, I bet y'all could keep it alive in spirit. Alright! That's how robots say hi. So, we're going to need a rope. Ah! Look at the far right of the screen there. How fascinating. So, information that I've never actually really stopped and read before. Handling, which I've always wondered what it does, increases my aiming and my reload speed. So that's good for the weapons that don't worry about damage. Damage obviously is damage. Tear is the ability to remove armor and components. Fire is damage over time. Corruption is target attacks anyone. Oh man, maybe I should be investing in corruption so much more. Because the corruption could make the enemies start fighting themselves. Ah, I'm just now learning about this. Shock is stunning and freeze multiplies subsequent damage. Okay, so there's even some modifiers you could play into here. You could freeze an enemy and then put like a weapon that has a ton of damage onto him. Here I am sitting at level 43 and I'm just now noticing those modifiers. Oh, so there is so there's still a weekly belt apparently. That sounds super cool. Does the for being league champs, did you get anything for that? Is there like a trophy involved? Okay, I'm going to want to switch out. Those are worth 3000 experience a point a piece. That's 6 grand of experience. Which, it's nothing to, sh to s scoff at when I only need 43,000 to level up. So those are worth investing and getting. Um, but I'm not going to... I'm going to want the rope caster for sure. I guess we can keep these things. Sure. I only have 10 ropes, though. Almost there. This is not going to go well. I guess that's negative talk. This could go very well, who knows. Okay, the trick being... Where's my resist shock potion? Ow. I need, like, a cliff or something that I can keep between me and the bird. Woo! There we go. If I just corrupt the bird... What is my quest right now? Is it just to get there? I don't have to actually kill this bird. I don't have to kill it. So if I just corrupt it and possess it on my team, I win. I'll take this as a victory, folks. I will take this as a victory. I don't think the game anticipated you doing it this way, but it works. Ta-da! Fight over. And that is how you finish a boss fight. You convince him to join your team, and game over. That was epic. Ah, so the belt was kind of the award for the league, and then they just turned it into the weekly, the weekly prize. That was really nice, the fact that, that killing that guy was not... <laughs> okay. So I just need to talk about the fact that I've done a ton of side quests, and how that has broken the progression that the developers maintained for the main game. So, 
the last major enemy we fought was a corrupted Thunderjaw. That's super dope. However, up to that point in the game, there were no occasions that you were forced. No, there was one. You did have to fight a Stormbird to complete, I think it was a side quest. So you had to fight a Stormbird to complete a side quest. But there was enough enemies there that you could kind of team up, and it was still a side quest. So if you chose to ignore the side quest, you would not have to actually fight a Stormbird. So it's totally possible for someone playing through and not going for a completionist tactic that they could get to this point in the game and have never faced a Stormbird and realistically have never completed this cauldron. Which means you're going to face this boss, and it's... I mean, they set it up that way because it's supposed to be a challenge. Right, there's a cutscene with the bird and everything. Like, they're like, okay, no allies, no friends, just you and the Stormbird. Let's see what you got. But I have a feeling, because I've invested so much time into the other aspects of this game, that uh, I'm a little bit ahead of where the developers expected me to be. Now, most quests they got around by saying you have to kill the boss, but in this one, the boss isn't actually the target. He's just an obstacle. So the fact that I was able to possess him and then just move on, I, I don't think that's what they had in mind, because it's a little anticlimactic. But, I'm not complaining. I just think it's a little interesting how um, that whole system is even working. Because you definitely know they did not anticipate it to work that way. You can definitely tell they did not anticipate it working that way. Okay, I need a rat bone. And a rat skin and a fish bone. I don't need fancy meat though, so I can make potions. I can make one health potion. We're not gonna make any potions, so just hang on. It's just interesting, very interesting, because yeah, it does make me feel cool. It does make all those hours we put into stuff worth it. Whoa, it's glowing. Because it essentially allowed us to skip a boss battle later in the game. Bounce soon enough. And I've already taken down two Stormbirds, once with allies and once solo, so I'm not too concerned about proving myself. And now he'll just guard. He'll guard the exit. It's rather interesting how stormy and obscured the vision is just down here, but then like. I don't know, 100 feet up this mountain. It's sunny and clear. Jeez. So yeah, pro tip, folks. Do the cauldron quest. Get the Zeta cauldron and the Stormbird override before doing this main storyline. That makes life a lot easier. A lot easier. What was clearly supposed to be like. Never know when I might need these. The ultimate challenge after climbing up this mountain. As long as I had a few ropes, turned into a walk in the park. Alright, we are approaching Gaia Prime. Now the thing is, we're supposed to destroy Hades before we rebuild Gaia. That's what she told us to do. Which seems awfully fishy. What if... Okay, here's another twist, as if this game doesn't have enough layers to the plot. What if Hades is disguised itself and is pretending to be Gaia? So it's telling us to go destroy Hades, which in reality means we're destroying Gaia and we're restoring Hades to full health. That's what the game should be doing right now. I, oh, if the game, I would have, I will have so, my opinion of this game will completely change if that's what ends up happening. Guy's sacrifice did this. Cracked the inside of the mountain like it was an egg. 
Yes, yes. Quickly now. I prepared the way ahead for you. Jessica. So you've been in here before. To a point. I have that stormbird still behind me. Super cool. It's very cinematic. I'm getting some like um uncharted vibes here. Jesse Cat, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Thank you for joining us. We just got past our Stormbird challenge, which I don't know if he'll still be our friend. This is really cool though. But no, in all seriousness, if the game does that, if the game switches it up on me and really Hades, which this is not outside the realm of possibility, right? These super advanced thinking AIs. If Hades has been disguising itself as Gaia, because a lot of Gaia's actions don't seem to make sense, especially what we learned in Mother's Cradle. It was kind of like, why would she just do all this stuff? Granted, she was affected with a virus, but still, just, I don't know. Like, my mind will be blown if that's what the game does. I really don't have high expectations that that's what's going to happen. But, oh man, it'd be so you cool. You a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with a climbing path either. Very... <laughs> I really enjoy the lighting in this area. There's not enough... So here's one thing, and this is kind of something that I really feel open world games in general kind of suffer from, right? Quote unquote suffer. But this game in particular really showcases. And I don't mean that in a positive way. But the set piece, the main storyline locations are absolutely gorgeous. And you really get to see some of the stuff like... Okay, sure that ribbon is clipping through the geometry. Whatever. But just this. Look at that. That is picturesque, folks. That is gorgeous. The problem being, these moments where the game really shines, like, really above and beyond, are solely stuck to storyline quests. The rest of the open world stuff, we're just kind of like, I'm going around and I'm going to kill some tramplers, or I'm going to find some campfires, or collect some bramble bush or whatever. Like, those things are nowhere near as cinematic. And granted, you don't need the entire game to be like a Michael Bay movie, but the artistry on Showcase here shows that, yes, they have the talent, they have the capability to do it. You can add little things like that into the rest of the game. So when I compare what we just saw, visually, to scenarios where I found a campfire and half of it is sticking inside of a, the geometry of a tree, or I find herbs I need to collect, but they've been placed so that they're inside of boulders in the terrain. Like, there's a big juxtaposition between the areas of this game that I feel are really polished and, and done really well, and the areas that are just kind of like, don't look at us, don't look at us, don't look at us. Don't look down, don't look down. It's just... This bothers you, Alloy? You've been on top of some incredibly high things and jumped off of them. Uh, I don't know. And maybe it's just a product of the development. Once again, I'd like to learn more about the development of this game, like the life cycle of it. How they were, how the time, the time and the schedule for the project went. Because it definitely feels like they bit off more than they could chew for the time that they were allotted. So they put most of the resources into polishing up the things that were important, main storyline quests, and really I feel like they just kind of left everything else at average. Like, some more development time spent on the secondary and tertiary goals and areas of the world I feel like could really have paid off dividends in making this title. At least for me, and this is once again just my opinion here folks, at least for me would make this title stand up a little taller amongst its peers. drop there really there's a way down we're gonna jump off did okay so the, J 
Jesse Cat, thank you for that bit of information. It did delay the game a couple years. Wow, okay. Man, I, I have to do some homework on this. So they already delayed the game a couple years, which says, okay, they did bite off a lot more than they could chew. And granted, um, this game, it's not necessarily the newest game, right? The sequel is coming out on next-gen consoles. So um, this, this game is kind of deep in its life cycle at this point, right? But it, oh, like, just the fact that there was some delays, right? And there's always that push and pull between the artists, the creators, and then the producers, right? The, the publisher, right? We need to satisfy shareholders. This game needs to come out in this quarter, like, get it polished up and ready to ship. Oh, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's very interesting that they delayed it a few years. I feel like, you know, at that point, they probably couldn't delay it anymore, but... For me, I feel like this game could have benefited from maybe another year. But then again, this game was a commercial success, is considered a darling of the last generation of game consoles. Like, maybe they didn't need to. It did just enough to get recognition, and that's really all the effort they needed to put into it. So from that perspective, it was a, it was a success. For me, looking at the game as a work of art and not as a work of commercialism, I suppose. I feel like there was room for improvement left on the table. And every game's going to have that, but this game in particular, really, there's a really big... Talk about the oscillation earlier today, right? The ups, the highs, and the lows. In my opinion, there are some, there's some incredible amplitude between the highs of this game and the lows of this game. And that seems rather unusual. Most games try to minimize that amplitude, so the highs and the lows are still relatively close together. This game, to me, feels like when it's botchy and weird and buggy. This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find. Botchy and weird and buggy. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. I'm really hoping that with the Forbidden West, the sequel, they're able to really knock it out of the park and not just repeat the same kind of work philosophy they did approach this game with because I'll be honest watching the 20 minutes of gameplay they revealed I will just me personally I know a lot of people are super stoked and I acknowledge that for me it just didn't do it for me visually don't get me wrong the PS5 is able to put out some incredible images it's picturesque it's beautiful in motion uh, but as far as gameplay wise I'm a little left wanting more from what I've seen enough so far. time later for you to ransack this place. Will there? Will there really silence? What is this? It's a gun. For years I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. It was supposed to come out this year. Oh, I didn't think it was coming out till next year. Well, from the state of what they showed, it looks like like it looks like it could ship this year, right? At least from that vertical slice of gameplay they showed, it was it was rather polished, um, and it seemed like like <laughs> it didn't look like a work in progress. It was like this is like a demo, um, so I would not be surprised if it comes out this year. I just even within the demo, there were little things and discrepancies that I'm like, eh, like there's a rough edge there. There's a rough edge there, like. And I get that's a demo, but I just I really hope they can push it above and beyond the bar that they set with this title. This year, though, that's exciting. I might have to actually look into getting a PlayStation Five at this point. I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. I've seen him in person Why? once already. My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. I got gotcha. <laughs> you. You were the one born to do this, not me. Looks like you've spent a lot of time here. Nineteen years ago, a great explosion. Who is only nineteen mountain. years? Guy's death, your birth. 
The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in Meridian as they tried to read this. Interesting, so it's so much more recent than I expected. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but... After seeing the damage, how could that be? She said any effort exactly. to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. That is what she said. I concur. So why are we here? Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. And because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less... convenient. But do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? You know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. And by the same principle, it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years, and we're counting the time we have left by the hour. Why? What's hap what, what is happening that I don't know about? Why are we counting it by the hours? I still don't really understand why we're here. Like, the goal is to stop Hades, which Hades is clearly underneath the Shadow Karja Fortress. So why are we here at the Gaia facility? It's time for me to head in. Because we're not supposed to repair yes. her. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. Hmm. Okay. What does the Master Override do? Like, takes control back from Hades? Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. We're in. Any comments, Silence? Because this is the door that you took so long to pass. Gaia Prime. Wow, it's four levels. Five levels if you count the zeroth floor. Mind your footing. We can go down. Let's explore this floor first before we go down. Health potion. Logging arrivals. Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hell. Travis Tate Population was here. Ten. Eleven counting Gaia. Don't count your chicken embryos before they incubated, hon. She's still firing up. Be a while before you eat that omelet. I'm vegan, Travis. You'd think we'd worked in the same secret base long enough for you to notice. We weren't scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre-code smut comics in transit. Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? Can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. And in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. Figured I was gonna pass the time archiving them. What about you? Me? At work, I guess. My task queue stretches out for, like, three years. There's a lot of sharp edges to round off. After that, I hadn't really thought about it. Oh, <laughs> you will. you what, 30? Reckon you'll be the one turning the lights off at the end. Food for thought, huh, vegan? This sucks forever. Nah, not forever. Just the rest of your life. Oh, jeez. So what do you want to bet this Travis Tate dude, whose scheme's kind of odd, right? Doesn't seem bad, he just seems odd. Right? I actually find him rather intriguing as a character. What do you bet he's the one that sabotages the whole project? He's the one that sends the virus. Because he's here at the Gaia facility. That's interesting in and of itself. And Jesse Cat, so the new... Is it... Okay, it's going to be available on PS4. That makes sense because of the PS5 supply issues. They don't want to shoot themselves in the foot with, like, launch... With launch window. But it's not being made for the PS4, right? It's a PS5 game that just... They're going to have, like, a PS4. Like, they'll have a free upgrade available, I imagine. 
Because a game like that, I would expect to really be a showcase of next-gen capabilities. Like, I want to see some PS5 stuff. From what I understand, I believe it's a PS5 game. This is going to be... It's going to be that split generation thing, since we're kind of in this weird one foot in the last generation, one foot in the future generation. No, 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 no. Go to the thing. Go to the other thing. Go to that thing. Go ahead and drop. Shouldn't be any robots in here unless there were robots that were left in here, like accidentally. And we're filling this up pretty good. I can't believe I missed so much though. Holograms, we haven't missed any. There's only two left. Wow. We missed some. We missed quite a few of these. I think these are done at this point. These are the quest data points, the world data points. We've missed quite a few. We've done a lot of exploring, I guess. All the machines are done. More books, and then the expansion stuff. Oh, I didn't notice that. Game completion, 71.61%. Huh. There's still an unknown thing. Activities is unknown. Must be the hunts, I guess. There's an unknown shadow item, and an unknown collectible. Interesting. We've only played for 70 hours. About 1% of the game for every hour of gameplay at this point. I've hit 15 training dummies. Oh man, I think there's like 20 or 30 of them. We got a fair number of headshots too, though. Almost, a little under a quarter of all of our human kills have been with headshots. I'm pretty proud of that statistic. Especially with no crosshairs. What was that? Something just shook. Ooh, I love those cable noises. You can feel them under stress. Okay, do I jump down to that level? Man, there's so much in this area. Very uncharted feeling. Guess that's my way across. Okay, we have a zip line over there. Oh, can I not jump onto those rocks? They look like you can. But apparently not. Let's get some of these things. Ooh. Okay, before we cross the chasm, let's go back in this little area. Audio log or something? Power cell! This should be the last power cell I need to get to that ancient armor I found. Oh my gosh, finally. I just got goosebumps. We have enough to finally finish the ancient armor request and get the super armor. An ancient suit of armor lies in a ruin of the old ones. Visible, but out of reach. Out of reach no longer. Well, let's finish this quest first and then we'll 
Oh, that's so exciting. Ow. And then we'll go get the uh, armor. Woo! I was like, where are we going? It's uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well. Don't, don't answer. Did not seem like the best way to get across. Exciting. The music is helping too. I really feel like we're coming to. I feel like the, a sense of discovery we're having right now is what we should have had going back to the cradle after we discovered our origins. Because there's so much happening right now. Uh, okay, I've got a shaft. Where do I go? Well, this is the fourth floor. It's not the way I came, I don't think. Another health potion. Where we came from. More nothing. This must have been where they lived. It's not here. Once this was all enclosed by rock and metal. More audio logs. Here we go. The cord. I just woke up. It's. I see the numbers, but can't make up the time. I was dreaming of. <coughs> uh, I was Excuse giving me. a lecture in Q Hall. Maybe it was something more shamanistic. I, I don't know. An audience of shadowy faces under a blank open sky. I told them the world ended with a bang. A plague of robots. But the last humans. We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started, huddled around a flickering glow. The heads of state, the Fortune Fives, the leaders, and lottery winners, and life cults. All of them buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Gaia Prime. No different multitude of tiny societies taking hold, flaring, dying. Some will be beautiful, some horrific. None of them matter. Short-term civilizations. One last gasp. One last gasp for the long-held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself, to a quiet planet. A barren sphere. Just Gaia and her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. Margot, that was incredibly poetic. It would be very depressing to be the last human being alive. Dragana, I love it. Yes, I do remember that. I mean, you have just reminded me of that, I'll be honest. But yes! Like, they don't get along. Even though Hades is essential to restarting life and like the cycle and all of that you're absolutely right so maybe okay hear me out maybe Gaia is really the bad guy 
right? She's acting awfully weird. Maybe she's the backup. Maybe what we're doing right now is no different than what we were doing in the first Bioshock when we were being a puppet. Ah. Oh. Flinnegan, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Yeah, the heart rate's still up a little bit today. I think it's just... We talked about this a little bit earlier. I think it's from the activities this morning. It's been a rather busy, productive, busy day. We've been riding in, like, the high 70s, low 90s, and all across the 80s, so... As long as it doesn't, you know, resting heart rate get into the, the triple digits, I'm happy. But Dragana, I love your point, though. Like, it would be a cool twist. Not as cool as if Hades was disguised as Gaia, but it would still be a cool twist nonetheless. It's one that I could see as more practical, like, they would actually do that. Well, again, I hope your Wednesday is going well. I heard that trivia didn't go super, super hot last night. It's 117 where you're at. Okay, you're not too far ahead of us. You know what's really neat? I mean, this is going to be a very niche reference, but it's Halo time. <laughs> All right, Spartan 117, the OG Master Chief. Or is it 1.17 in the morning? That's what you mean, isn't it, Jesse Cat? In which case, ouch, yes. That is rather late slash early. It's still Spartan John 117 time. So Elysium was a place, Gaia Prime was a place. There's a new person. Evacuation happens so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Paik I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of parody Sadie Zygos I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. Angry at myself for... Well... He died alone, and I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the beaters and gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an alpha, if things had gone differently, I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with. Given a chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. Interesting. 117 degrees. Jeez. My thermostat says it's 76 degrees in my apartment. I think it's like 74 outside. Like, there's a whole 50 degree difference, which is like the temperature of a normal autumn day somewhere. Right? There's like an entire other ecosystem's worth of temperature. Dividing us, Jesse Cat. I feel for you. I feel for you. Hopefully, it's not terribly humid. That makes all the difference in the world. Heat and humidity do not mix, my friend. Jiggly Wiggly Jigglepuff. Happy, happy Wednesday. I, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. I don't know how exactly close we are. According to the statistics or the progression, we're only seventy-one percent of the way done with the game, but we are getting closer. We're exploring the ruins of the Gaia Prime facility, searching for the Master Override.
That was some weird jittering on that edge of the staircase. Very linear. These facilities, for being like eons old and in disrepair, you would think would be like caves, like winding tunnels. You have no idea how to get where you need to go. Instead, they're all very, very linear in fashion, with incredibly short spurs that lead you, if you explore them, to find, you know, a treasure chest or something. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. Oh no. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. The Gaia journals. Oh, Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. How do I scan them? Like, did I just scan them? Is that done? File damaged, under repair. File damaged, under five files. Going into different dates. Across, what, three years? Two years? One year. Interesting, I wonder when they'll be complete. How neat would it be if those were if those were finished repairing when you got to the DLC? Alright, how do we get through that? How neat would that be? Examine the shrine? I feel like we're getting into some really creepy stuff now. This does not seem normal. This does not seem normal. Or is this her grave? Those are flowers. This is Charles Rodson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. What? Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Oh no. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now who would I have signed up for? Either we sent someone out or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She's already doing she it. Said five minutes. You don't think. Oh no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's alright. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we- Guys, you know me, I'm... I'm no good at endings. At letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And, uh... See you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, alright? Liz. I'm okay with this. Bumps. Oh snap. She did so much. That was the last transmission of 
Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Oh my gosh. Like, not only did she develop the project and create the project and execute the project, then she sacrificed herself in order to secure the project's future when it malfunctioned. Oh my gosh. So she was wearing that armor. I think that's the suit of armor that I'm getting. So either she survived and then she put that armor down in that bunker, or she died. I mean, it's been how many years, right? She's probably died. And then, uh, that's just a different suit of armor. Man. She got killed by robots and then reconstituted into energy. Hell, Liz. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's right? Not the point. You, uh, <laughs> you got to play the savior and the monitor all at once this time. Great work. And that was that one, right? I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh... <laughs> you got to play the savior and the monitor all at once this time. Great work. That's it? Travis Tate. Gene locked for Elizabeth Sobek. Interesting. Why would he have gene locked his data slate? They're both data locked for Elizabeth Sobek, who is dead. So no one would be able to ever read these di these these logs. You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. Interesting. If I had to try to express all your children. After all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything. But they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much. With an intensity that was... Dazzling. Bruising. And in the end, it killed you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you. Live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg... I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean... Elizabeth Sobek... is only one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, what he just said... is really interesting, because... there's the Lightkeeper protocol, which we've never heard of, I don't think. However, it was hinting at her having a clone of herself, and he said that she shut it down. So why am I now alive? There's something fishy going on with Gaia. I'm really leaning toward she is not the good guy anymore. Because he just talked about the Lightkeeper Protocol, which I assume is me becoming a clone, and her shutting it down, so why am I even alive then? We got one more, we got one more. Look, Liz. You are a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. Oh, man. So what is happening? More and more secrets. Aloy? She's gone. Of course she's gone. It's been how many hundreds of years? You knew she couldn't have survived, Eloy, and her achievements were beyond exceptional. Well, 
While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Stop acting like a machine. You think she was better because she was smart. Because she designed Zero Dawn, but you missed the point. What made her great was that she was willing to sacrifice herself for others, for everyone who would come later. No. She couldn't let her creation fail. You're confusing will for sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your... loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. Yes, maybe she is alive. Maybe that is her suit of armor in the bunker. Oh, snap. What would her home have been? That's the question we need to ask ourselves. Okay, that door is now unlocked, so I assume that's the way I'm supposed to go. Oh, oh so many things. I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Margo, oh, I'm sorry. With Liz gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design, but he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margo. I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in his pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? Okay, who is Ted? Because Ted is shaping up to be our traitor. Travis Tate. And that's not like... A, Ted is not short for that guy. So who is Ted? Why is this one light a different color? Not in the dungeon anymore? That is unusual. Now I'm in the dungeon again. For some reason that one spot of the map does not count as being in the dungeon. Another health potion. from Meluthia 1. Running integrity tests. Dr. Brochard Klein. May I seek outside protocol? I suppose so. There's no one to stop you. Doctor, you are fatigued. You have been logging abnormal sleep cycles. Are you suffering from depression? Well, I am trapped in a science facility for the rest of my life. How about you? In a time slice of a quadrillion operating cycles, 10,000 are involved with processing the loss of Dr. Sobek. I have considered quarantining these processes. Do you think that would be wise? 
I'm not a psychologist, Gaia, or, or an AI scientist. I, no. It is natural. At least in the context of the work you and I have accomplished, which begs the meaning of the term natural. She was your creator, the patron saint of this crazy endeavor. Our Lady of the Fervent Hypothetical. Even assuming a string of significant failure combinations, Zero Dawn's chances of success are greater than the hypothetical. Hmm. It's called a manner of speech, Gaia. Take a note. Okay, well it's not this brochure guy, because his name would not turn into Ted. Why that was hidden away so much, I have no idea. And that seems awfully hidden for just not really anything that important, besides collecting it. Alright, onward we go. Next room. Oh my gosh. Stuck on a vending machine. Alright, another shaft. Up we go. The future. Ted! Ted Pharaoh Ted! The guy that caused all of this. He's the bad guy? That's screwing things up again? Why are we gonna plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history? A whole lot of so-called truth? A whole, a whole lot of noise? It's not Pablum, Les. Oh no. It's Poison. He messed up Apollo? Are you kidding me? This Ted dude, the dude that started the robot apocalypse and ended life on the planet, now is sabotaging the savior program? Out of what? Jealousy? What is this guy's problem? How has nobody killed him? He should have been quarantined. He's literally the one that, like... Oh, all they needed is his money. That's all they needed him for. They did not need anything else for him to contribute except his money and his scientists. Oh my gosh. If he's the one that ruined all of this. That would be incredibly frustrating. We're going back out again. There's another section at the back of the computer. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. Man. No way is he the one that corrupted everything. Oh no! And so... Our quest to save the human race ends. Well, there goes our first quarter for today, folks. Oh, you have to give me one second. It looks like I did not enable our quarter tracking script. So we will just give that a little blop. Switch our thing back over. Blop. We're back. And. Uno. Uno quarter. Okay, let's uh, not fall down this time. The thing is, I feel like we could have made that. We definitely could have survived that fall. We've fallen further before. Ooh, things are still shaking. Oh, really? Really? Oh no. I've, I've been oh no. Look at the project. 
In the end, it's simple. It's clean. It's clear. Erasure. Addition by subtraction. I can make it better, Liz. With a single stroke, make it all go away. I really don't like the direction this is going. Continue. Who is this dude and what did he do? Why? In all honesty, right? As realistic as they want to portray this, why did this gentleman not be put into custody after literally causing the extinction of the human race? Like, there is no need for him to exist anymore. And now you've left him alive? Like, seriously? Who thought this was a perfectly fine idea? Oh my gosh. It's like watching a train wreck in slow motion. Like, you know what's about to happen. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Alright, well, we're... That's where we have to go, so let's go out this way first. Oh my gosh, this is just... Oh, I can't believe this is what's happening. It's probably the way out. Yeah. This is the way when we leave. They're gonna want us to come. Oh my gosh, I just can't believe what's happening. Seriously, he screwed everything up again? And they let him? No one gave this guy a psychiatric evaluation after him literally dooming the human race? No one thought, maybe this guy might need to be monitored. <sighs> they don't look like they died from old age. It looked like they were murdered. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. Oh my gosh. He murdered them. He freaking murdered them. This is still not as cool. I mean, this is an awesome twist. It's just infuriating. But it's not as cool as if Gaia is really Hades in disguise. Just saying. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This Ted Farrow dude is so annoying. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, um, uh, please stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're going to give them knowledge? Why wouldn't you? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, Why wouldn't she want to give them knowledge? To be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A what? Sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. That dude is still sitting in his chair. Oh my gosh. I hope somehow, somehow, that Ted Farrow 
cryogenically froze his body and is alive in my time period so that I can find him and kill him. Oh my gosh. This is how Travis Tate died? Travis Tate, my dog? So then who sabotaged Gaia? That still hasn't been answered yet. He killed them all. So this is why. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance. I can't stand this guy. Future. Blameless men. <sighs> he never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved. All the knowledge of the old ones. He evaporated. There's to gotta be a backup dust. copy somewhere. Scattered to the void. Like the alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they well, Hopefully made. you didn't read that in, Alloy. we are living in. It's, it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Oh my gosh, this Ted Farrow guy. The Master Override. It's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. That's it? That's it. Like, liter literally, this Farrow guy ended the world, and then destroyed it, like, twice over. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Cody the Conqueror won. Guess who got Twitch? I have a feeling I know who got Twitch. Happy Wednesday. That's a cool little beam of light. Hope you're having a good one, and welcome to the channel. We just got the Master Override. I know you've played this game, so you have probably a good idea of where we're at. We just got the Master Override. And now I guess we're headed back. Ooh, here we go. More audio logs. All the holograms are finished. Oh, we can't go on. We have to get the suit of armor. Now that I've gotten... Now that we've collected all the... Uh... Oop, that does not sound good at all. To fall to your death. The master override doesn't override oh! Okay, that was not the plan. I could have swore I was gonna grab that zip line and zip to safety. But apparently not. I was really under the impression we were gonna zip line to safety. Alloy, you want to grab that ledge thingy? It's like right next to you. It's like right there. Why won't you go? It's literally right there. You can, you've made bigger jumps before. I mean, I don't think I can really get down this way. Okay. I tried ziplining and it didn't let me. Like, I jumped to it and I just totally whiffed on the grab. So, what has taken me here? I just now I have to get back to the workshop somehow. I don't know how to get back up here anymore. Oh, just like that, apparently.
What am I doing? Here we go. Uh, you're here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. Is he stealing it? But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Oh no. Oh no, what's happening? Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. How come everybody is evil? But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy, buried on that mountain. Trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the eclipse, helped it build a cult, an army to do its well, You should use. still want me to help kill it then, right? Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowledge. Oh, okay. He's not evil, he's on my team. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems, Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end, an army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. I thought the robots already are awake. Unless way. you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus, recovered from an ancient ruin. Oh as dear as lord. As many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. It's like I'll Sauron in the One Ring. Searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan buried in the jungles of the Jew. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it. Until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location. The surrounding geography. Who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. So, like, I imagine the spires, plural, are kind of like radio towers, just in the future. So they're sending signals that would chain off other spires. But I'm assuming that the one by Meridian is the last one in existence? So even if he sends a signal, it's only going to hit the localized area. It won't be able to rebound off of the rest of the planet because there are no more spires. Or are there more? I feel like somewhere I, I read that there's only a couple left. 
but that was talked about. I don't remember. I just feel like this isn't a very good plan. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge, especially with the alterations I included of my own design. <laughs> the ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late? Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature. And usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence. Pure recklessness. Aloy, this wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. <sighs> Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. It's lance? Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Like a spear? Oh, no problem. Silence. Where will you go? Into the DLC. Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. I like him. Sure, he's done some, I mean, he's done some bad things, but he's also the only reason we're succeeding right now. Why does Hades sound so uh, creepy? Bahamas, behold, as I promised you, what? 
manner of great machine is this? I've never seen such a thing. Stay! Stay your ground, Karcha in shadow! Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Araman understand the Glint Hawk that perched upon the Alight? It speaks scripture. Araman followed the shadow cast from the Spire. To the Mesa, where Holy Meridian was founded. You will follow the shadow once more. I am a righteous man, chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will... Will you return to us what is ours, O oh, Shadow of Prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience you can be certain. First meeting. I traveled far to find you. I heard your transmission. Oh, that, whatever that was, is. You, wasn't it? Entity is not known. I'm called Silence. And you are. I don't think you'd have called out if it wasn't something you wanted. You called, I responded. Will you tell me your name? Hades. You are a creation of the ancients. A war machine. Divine timeline. Time? Ah. It is the 13th king of the Karja Sultan's reign. Define Karja. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Were you created by the ancients? I wonder how long you waited here, buried, until I chanced upon you. How long you'd have to wait for another. You're obviously very powerful, but you're not going to get anywhere without me. Titan Flame merely houses intellect. Define Karja. Now that's more like it. All right, getting a new spear. And a new suit of armor, too. Cool, it glows. Obtained Silence Lance. Quick light attack, slower heavy shock attack, and the ability to override unlocked machines. Cool, my old lance is just gone completely. Okay, we got that upgrade. 20% inventory slot would be nice. Three arrows would be nice. Quiet sprinting would be nice. Can't really get anything, I guess. Well, we only missed a few. We got quite a few of them, actually. All of those. Almost all of those. Ah, even for quests we missed? That was interesting. A lot of those, and then not too bad on the rest. Puts us where? 72%. Not that much further. Of us, it will be done. 
And that was the kill order. I still, I want that thing. Is that like the drill he used to try to hack through this door, probably? I have to tell Avad that the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city. But the Spire... Alright, folks. And that, I believe, is everything. Um... Is there no quick way down? That's a quick way down. Alright, we're about out of time. It's about 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. or 1300 Eastern Standard Time. And we, I believe, are on the cusp of the end of the game. I have a feeling when we get to Meridian, defending the Spire, we've had all of the Nora allies coming. That the eclipse are ready to strike. I think we've I think we've made it. What happened with Durval? I know he'll defend the city. With the spire. I think we finally made it. To the end. So, folks, that wraps up. Ooh, the damage files are repaired. That wraps up our adventures for today. Two quarters. Very anticlimactic, but two quarters nonetheless. 50 cents going into our grand total, bringing us up to $80 even as we dive into tomorrow's stream. Now tomorrow, of course, is he still on my team? I would like to know that. Tomorrow, of course, is Thursday. It's our last weekday stream this week. Streaming, of course, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for an hour and a half, right around your lunchtime hour. Make sure you join us then because we will be recovering the armor of the old ones. We'll be reading the recovered data file from Elizabeth Sobek. And perhaps venturing forth to the final bit of storyline content. Is he on my team or not? That's what I want to know. He seems content to just stay perched over there, so I'm okay with that. Hostile! Hostile! Oh boy. This is a dead end. How do I get down? How do I get down? And of course, they're full of enemies too. Hold my back. Let him distract him if he can. And our save point. Whew. All right. What what a day, folks. What a day. Talk about progress today. One more stream coming up tomorrow to round out most of the last things left in the main storyline 
of Horizon Zero Dawn. And absolutely, it'll be right into the thick of things if we try to climb back down the mountain, folks. And then the first thing on the order of business is getting that armor of the ancients. Ooh, this is exciting, folks. Um, of course, this Saturday, tune in for our baby long play, our anniversary stream. Excited to be celebrating one year of Quarters Without Borders. That'll be, of course, a recap of the year, what we've managed to accomplish, the good, what we've been able to put back out in the world, how the channel has grown. We'll be doing a Q&A session, a little bit of gaming, and, of course, giving you a glimpse of the roadmap for the channel in the next year to come. And, of course, um, a, a something... something secret something surprise something just for the fans um hope you better join us on saturday i'll have the time it'll be in the evening late evening to the night time but i'll have the times for that for you come tomorrow working on finalizing the schedule this afternoon actually so um but yeah folks as always thank you for joining me today that was super exciting a lot of revelations still questions i have that have yet to be answered and i don't know if we're going to answer all of them or not in this playthrough or even if the game does address them all or not so we'll see but yeah, everybody that came out and, and, and supported today, thank you, thank you as always. Cody the Conqueror, welcome to the channel for the very first time, and thank you for that follow, bringing our community up to 65 members. It means a lot, and I appreciate you, one, making an account, and two, deciding to follow our channel. So hopefully you enjoyed your first time here in our community, our little crazy corner of the internet. Of course, thank you to some of the recurring members of our community, of our viewership. Lady Dragana and Flanagan, better luck next week. You have a belt to earn back. And Jesse Cat. And Jesse Cat. It's been a while, but it's a good to see your friendly face here in our in our community again. Um, hope everybody out there has a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. And we're back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. For those of you that have been um, following the channel rather diligently, I super super appreciate it. Um, some of the things that have been sliding by the wayside like the twitch the twitch the twitter stream and the youtube channel um, are being worked on so um, if you haven't had a chance to follow those or subscribe to those or whatever those things are check them out um, i've been using the twitter a little bit more proactively lately and then the youtube channel is getting caught up is getting caught up we're almost back to the, really caught up to the horizon zero dawn playthrough so the idea is to really kind of hit on all fronts once again so i know those have kind of been lagging behind in the stream itself, but I want to make sure we bring everything up to parity as we head into year two of Quarters Without Borders. Folks, enjoy the rest of this wonderful Wednesday. I'll say that one more time. Stay safe out there, and until tomorrow, happy gaming.